numbers are only divisible by themselves and one. Do you understand? I have no idea what you mean. It's like this. I'm going to give you an example. Take a look at this number. Three. If you have three things and you give them to one kid, how many things will that kid have? Think before you say the answer, Tiny Tembo. Well, he'll have all three, right? <laughs> you got it right. You got it. Uh, I think you are getting the picture. Now in math, we will call that three divided by one. The answer is three. Now, if you say three divided by three, what will you get? Let me think about that one. If we have three pumpkins and three juniors, each junior will get one pumpkin. Aha! Uh -huh. Three divided by three is one. <laughs> nice tiny tembo. You are a sharp one, aren't you? You see, the first time we got three as an answer, and the second time we got one as the answer. Right? That's right. Now be careful when you listen to me here, Tiny Tembo. I'm listening. Prime numbers can be divided only by one and themselves. Look at this five. It cannot be divided by anything other than one and itself. What about seven? Seven is also prime. What about nine? Don't they call nine a prime number? Let's take a look at it. Nine divided by one is nine. Nine divided by three is three. And nine divided by nine is one. The number nine has lost the characteristics of a prime number. So, why is this so? Can you figure it out? Because it can be divided by more than itself and one. Now, look at you. Now you have got it. <laughs> I knew you could. <laughs> yeah, I understand it now. Thanks, Mama and Daddy. <laughs> Never miss out on new Ubaulu Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaulu Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Obongo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Obongo Kids family.